Welcome back to TMZ Sports, Mike and Mojo. Mojo will press pause on the NFL talk for a second because we've got to talk about a seven-time NBA champion. There he is, Robert Ori, who Mojo, Friday night in Los Angeles, was kicked out of his son's high school basketball game because he was heckling the referees. Yes, so uh, Friday night, Robert Ori's son is a junior guard uh, on the team. He's one of their best players. Look, Harvard Westlake might be the most exclusive uh, private school in all of LA, and they also have a very good basketball team, Mojo. So they were on the road playing St. Francis again Friday night. We were told that Robert's son, Christian, picked up his fourth foul, or he did not agree with the call, and he let the officials know about it. So, Mojo, about after the first, quote, unquote, you suck, that's when the official tossed him out. And then Robert kept on going and uh, and did not stop and had to be walked out of the gym. Looking at this clip, this was not that bad. You hear you <laughs> suck to the refs at almost every single call in a sporting event ever. This was 100% targeting, my friend. This was knowing who that man is wow. up in the stand and trying to throw him out and make an, an example of him. Uh, I don't think he should have been tossed. I, I really don't think he did anything bad there. If anything, give him a warning. Tell him he's distracting the game. Maybe explain to him that because he is who he is, uh, you, you know, he's he's kind of a leader out there in the crowd. But regardless, I think this was too aggressive of, of a call. Is, is there the an argument to be made, Mojo, that this is not college athletics, definitely not professional, and that these are kids? It's not necessarily just about winning, but it's also about other things at that level. Maybe it would have been OK if if we're talking about yesterday's Eagles and Niners game. But but it was not that. I mean, well, technically, I don't think you should say you suck at any level. <laughs> of the game whether it's pro or not it doesn't matter i mean it's not it's not the best language but this is commonplace in sports um yeah i i see where you're going with that and i certainly get Just devil's it. advocate devil not saying i feel that way no, and hey, hey, man, I mean, that's how a lot of people are, are going to feel. And obviously, <laughs> that's how the ref felt. And every yeah. level of the game, uh, the higher up you get up the ladder, this this language, I, I hate to say it becomes a little more acceptable, but I, I guess that, that's one way to put it. Obviously, it's better him screaming this at a high school game than it is at like a, a peewee ankle biter, <laughs> right. like actual – child's game but this right. is competitive uh sports sure. you know this is still yeah. grooming players for for college and the implications of these games can last a lifetime i mean dude i mean at the high school level now you're talking about some of these kids getting an education that they would by other means have have no way of accomplishing if it wasn't getting their foot in the door uh, athletically. Uh, again, it's not the best thing to do, but I think if this man wasn't a seven-time champ, I don't think he gets uh, singled out in the crowd when you could hear a lot of other people saying the thing the same thing and getting kicked out. Some just people, Mojo, have said, and I think I know your answer on this, that that he should not be allowed, maybe not forever, but he should not be allowed for the next game or the next couple of games. I, I assume that you think that's uh, blasphemy, it's nonsense, and that he should be allowed back in the arena for their next home game. Yeah, that's nonsense. I mean, look, you have a warning with him. You, you know, have a conversation with him. Let him know. Let him know that he's a leader and everyone else in the stands is looking to him for his opinions. Uh, think about like the other parents of the other players on the field. They want to see how the champs react into some of these calls, some of these performances. They're learning from him on the spot, too. But all it takes is the ref, even during the game, you know, saying up there, keep up with that language and I'm going to have to throw you out or having the assistant coach run up there and say something. Again, this is a high school team. It's not like he's that far away. He's literally like <laughs> two rows behind the, the coach's bench. It's an easy adjustment. If after all that, he doesn't comply, now I get it. But, but not until then. Yeah!